BYD is making a new car called the Denza Z. It's an EV sports car taking aim at both Tesla and Porsche. They have a, another Denza Z9 GT has 952 horsepower. So this could possibly be over a thousand. So it's, it's got a starting price of $41,000 US. 41,000. How, how do you compete with that? So I wonder if this is DYD breaking that. Like, honestly, we can, we can do the same thing and no, it's not going to have the Porsche logo on it, but it's going to perform the same. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. We're talking about electric vehicles, green energy, and the stock markets. And it's Wednesday, and I'm here with our resident engineer, Mike Herzog. How's it going, Mike? I'm back, David. Glad to be here. Like I told you, I've been doing accounting work all morning, so I'm, I'm happy to talk about anything besides that. <laughs> all right. Well, let's start out with um, talking a little bit. You know, it's funny because we're in, we're in the EV space, but so much of the EV space is China, right? I mean, there are like half of the world's EV car sales occur in China. And it's just, and most of the manufacturers are located there. It's the biggest market for cars. There's all these things, but there's so much. We just had the Shanghai Auto Show. There's just new stuff being shown over there constantly. And it's really hard to fathom as an American about some of the stuff that's really going on in the space. So my first thing is, BYD is making a new car called the Denza Z. It's an EV sports car taking aim at both Tesla and Porsche. It features a tri-motor system and AI-powered steer-by-wire. Uh, it's priced way below other cars in its category. Now, tri-motor cars typically have crazy horsepower. Okay, like the Model Pla S Plaid, things like that. But it was unveiled at the Shanghai Auto Show, uh, but it's... It's designed to compete with the Porsche 911 and the Tesla Roadster. Okay. It's going to have a remarkably low price. I, you, you know, it's one of those, I, I know there's a term for it in marketing and advertising where like that price point says so much. If it's so low, you know, you say like, is it, it can't be as nice as a Porsche, you know, if it's hot cost kind of thing. So it's beautiful, you know, give them that. Right. Has precise torque distribution and dynamic control, especially during cornering and high-speed maneuvers. They have a, another Denza Z9 GT has 952 horsepower, so this could possibly be over 1,000. The steer-by-wire system was developed in-house by Denza. This technology eliminates mechanical linkages between the steering wheel and the front axle, allowing for millisecond-level responsiveness. I, that, that's incredible that they're they're bypassing, you know, that mechanical limitation with, with electric input, like that you could get faster than somebody, you know, physically turning it. Paired with high-tech magnet, magnet tor heological. Yes, this is a real world, real word dampers. The company says the ride will be buttery smooth. Here's an interior picture. Looks all right if you like blue. If you're into blue, it's it's very blue. So it's, it's got a starting price of forty one thousand dollars U.S. Forty one thousand. How how do you compete with that? Holy crap! Yeah, you know. Oh, do you want a thousand horsepower car for forty one thousand um, dollars? Hell, even if you paid a hundred percent tariff on that damn thing to bring it to the U.S., that's still only eighty two grand for for that. That, that's nuts. It, it's just hard to believe that they can produce a car with that kind of power. You know, it's crazy. I saw I saw a video and it was on like luxury handbags and it was somebody doing a comparison of like a coach bag or, Dior, you know, something really fancy. And they use this fancy thread and it's imported from Italy or, you know, wherever they make thread and this type of leather and everything. And like the cost of materials was $2,000, but they charge you twenty thousand dollars just to put this logo on it so is this guy basically saying like i will make you this luxury bag for a tenth of the cost because that's all these material yeah they're expensive materials like it's legitimately nice so i wonder if this is dyd breaking that of like honestly we can we can do the same thing and no it's not going to have a portion logo on it but it's going to perform the same 
Well, well, think about this. Um, the most expensive part of an EV has been the battery, but that's that's not continuing to be that way, right? So electric mm-hmm. motors aren't really, you know, crazy expensive. And so yeah. it probably isn't a crazy amount of money. It's just like when we were looking at some of those things about making your uh, Tesla faster. You know, these things that where people could add 150, 200 horsepower to their Tesla. It was it was like $1,500. It wasn't that much. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't it was really no a, a crazy amount of money. You know, it, it's amazing what they're they're doing with some of that. Uh, the last last one on that, I will say, you and I have been doing this for a year and a half. You've had me on for a year and a half. You've been doing it a little longer. It's when we first started. I'd heard of BYD, and it it came up and and more and more. But just talking to random people about EVs, I have heard BYD come up more and more in conversation from people. What about this this BYD out there? So it's just it's been fun from my seat back here to watch that company just blow up and and go from this novel not novelty i mean you've been huge since i've heard about them but become a household name almost in the u.s you know where people like oh yeah yeah byd they're they're the ones making those cheap amazing cars (laughs) yeah Yeah, that we can't buy here yeah you know like yeah we can't we can't do that that's gonna kill us yeah well folks they're they're doing a 90-day uh window of uh you know, not tariffing the crap out of the Chinese here. So you better order your uh, thousand horsepower Chinese car now. I can get it for 41 grand. I mean, but it's just nuts to think that that's cheaper than like a uh, a base model, Model Y. Yeah. I, right? <laughs> that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah. BYD keeps pushing the boundaries. Um, you know, I, I don't know what Warren thinks of, you know, their ownership and that, but it's certainly uh, provided value back to Berkshire Hathaway. Um, they mm-hmm. could take the rest of that $400 billion they're sitting on and maybe they could buy a bunch more of it. I mean, it's just kind of funny. I mean, I, I think BYD is a safe bet. The clip you just saw was part of our live podcast. If you enjoyed it, don't miss out. Join us every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday right here on EV World News. We stream not just on YouTube, but also on Facebook and X, so you can catch us wherever you prefer. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share to help us grow. If you'd like to support our work, please consider becoming a YouTube member. It really helps us bring you the latest EV news and insights. I'll see you in the next one.